Um, this word means to stretch. How do you read it? To stretch out. No be to. Right, no video. Like Which stretching is... out a doll, right, Money? Or stretching out a rubber band, right? That kind of an action? Mm, yeah. Normally it's used with body parts, which I like could... to stretch out your hand to grab the remote, for example, when you're sitting on the couch. Ah, uh, to reach for something, isn't it? Yeah. To reach for. You could do it that way. Hi. No um, video. What is the top form of this word? Nobita. Um, let's go read this sentence. Yubi no katachi o shita. Hono ga kin eh? Kin, kin. It's not kin, it's a it's a one is a key and the other is one is a kagi. One is one a gaki. Is kagi. One is kagi. The other one is jo. Jo. One is this one key. is a lock. A lock. Sorry. Which one do you think is which? I think the one coming after the hono hono ga joe. Hi. It's a lock. Right. Cho. Cho e nobite iki. Kachi to yu oto to tomo ni kagi ga aku. Right. So. Here we have the first clause that say the fire that the fire that was um in the shape of a finger, yubi no katachi o shita. The fire that doing the shape of, of a finger. Um that fire it, it's no pite iki, it it stretched towards the speaker. Is it towards the speaker? But it's it's no, it's it's opposite the direction of the speaker. It's hi, good. Hi, hi. Uh towards the the uh lock, the jaw. Right. And then the sentence continues. Um and this icky here is not the te form, so it's these two claws are unrelated. They can be related. It's, it just means and versus soul. And versus soul. In this so. sentence, you could have um te. In general, as you can see how we have two different subjects here. We got hono ga, then we have kagi ga. In Hi. general, we tend to see this one versus the te when the subject changes like this. We got two different subjects. So there might be a real that te form needs um the same subject, but I, I don't actually know for sure. That's very interesting. Very, very good to know. So here it say kachi, and then it had the the small t. Right. Kachito. Kachito. Oh, it's a sharp sound. Okay. Oh, so e u o to do. So the sound, the sound kachi. Exactly. That's exactly what it says. Um, and then they say tomo ni together. Together with the sound, kachi. What happened? Together with the sound, the kagi aku. Together with the sound, the key, the lo the the keys open. Yep, here's the keys open. Kagi is so the here's key. kagi key being used to mean lock. I'm sorry. So both of these are locked. They are the both of these are locked. locked, but kagi also means key. Like kagi ga kakaru means to lock the door, but it's the key is engaged. Hi. The key <laughs> so, is the lock. The lock so is here the is the key is opened. The mean key the is lock open. Is open. Hi. Um, so, but the it, it is the word. 
Aku. Um, okay, for last week, this was a hard one. Do you remember how to say echo? But Moni, real quickly, yeah. so when it's when it's in the regular dictionary form, the verb means that Kakaru? It, it will happen or it happened habitually, right? Um, so theoretically, yes, this is either habitual or future tense. So currently it's habitual, it's it's I would say is habitual saying it is open. And it opens. It, it's now continuing to be open. So, so I say do they... is the act of opening. So the issue is that um, in English and Japanese, their definitions of what words mean do not actually match one to one, such as open um, and a different word I saw today, like like similar. I'll do similar as like an option. So if you said um, niteru, which was like in our first book, um, Data. This theoretically should be similaring, right? Because something right. is currently doing similar, but we don't say that. We just say she is similar. So the idea of similar already contains ing in it. So in English, that's what's happening with our word open, with aiteiru. It is opening. We open the door, the gate is now open, right? So this in this case is actually the same as Japanese it is. We're just saying the door is open. We're not opening the door. We just said the door opened. It it is open now, along with the sound of kachi going on. So kachi happened, and along with that, the door is open. So it's saying the door is open versus saying the door is opening, right? The door is open. So it's it it. It's a factual statement. It's right. described the current situation, which state is the of door. Affair. The door is open, but it's not opening. It it opened right when the kachi happened. Aiteru was a kachi right in that moment when kachi happened. That was aiteruing. But now aiteruing is done. It's now aku. It's Waka. no longer aiteruing. But it's very confusing because of that. Because you can't. It's always like, is this going to be? currently happening and or is it, does it have to be an iru or auto form it's it's very confusing with that so say with the ipu the hibiku i guess right here is being really weird because theoretically it should be like future dance but it's just it's saying that this thing is continuing to happen i don't think you say like echoing that much in japanese is it echoing Oh, yeah. It doesn't take the edu form. It simply it takes the regular form. So it, it's kind of just verb specific, <laughs> whether or not it takes edu. So, and it's the same in English, yeah. how we have verbs, someone take edu, some of them don't. So like to know versus knowing or something like walking versus walk. Just some verbs take ing, some don't. And it's different for each language. Hi. So, ni. I guess this is also the same in English. It says it echoes, the, the voice echoes, like we use S here. It's not the voice is echoing in the tunnel. I guess in general, it actually matches, weirdly enough. Hi. But there there are exceptions. So these two examples do actually match in English. So, okay, so... I guess if, if if you say ING in English, probably is going to use Teidu. And if you don't use ING in English, such as the door is open and the sound echoes, right? Right. It's not echoing down the phone, echoes. So yeah, I'm I'm not sure about tenses. Languages are weird. That makes sense. So it in so in in like in general, it just means that if it's in the if it's in the plain form, mm -hmm. it's just stating the fact. Well. It doesn't care, it doesn't emphasizing the the time that much. Yeah, it's not. Wakata. Sorry, I interrupt you. Um, uh, what was the shine? To shine. Um, ha haratai harai harai. It is um. Ha, ga, ya. Ka ga ita. Ka ga ita. And what is echo? Echo is the real important one here. I just want to not have the word. Ibiku. Perfect. Ibiku. Nice. Can you read the sentence for me? Kagayaku. Kagayaku. Kagaya. Hi. 
do um, do do kai plus do ka no i do ka do ka ga te ni haita perfect it goes into my hands exactly coins, what went in the hand the the coins perfect go sorry into the hand exactly and this means like to get it basically you happen to get it it feels a little bit lucky is how i'd put the ni haita in there so rather than saying ni haita you actually can say this word which do you happen to know how it's read is teni ireru Yep, teni iriru, which takes the object o, which means I make something enter my hand. I insert it into my hand to get. Um, so let's go read the sentence. Hi. So, ore mo isu ka um, mado seki o te ni iretai i iretai wanting. Wants, wants, just want, right. not not wanting. Um. So I also, itsuka. It's someday. I some I also want want to obtain the magical stone someday. Yes. yes, I also want to get a magical stone. I also want a magical stone to come into my possession. But here we're using o. Oh, because the subject is I. I want to. Versus with the other one, it is the passive version. Of the object is the one that goes. Um, do you know how to read this word? Sai go. Hi. So you see that kanji right there? That is go. Go. Last. Do you know how to read this kanji? Say. Yep, back. back. How do you think you read this word? This word. Hai go. Hai, hai go. Backside. See? turned into hot. Hi, go. Um, do you know how to read this part? Hori. Perfect. Meaning, Let's go read like a street. Hi. Um, ore tachi ga tori nukeru. Nukeru is to 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 travel across. Basically. Right. Um, to. Hai go de. Mata kachi to kagi ga shimata. So here he used the you word. Read this word again. Kagi. Uh, correct. Kagi. I'm sorry. Uh, perfect. Yeah. So shimata meaning oops, I did it again. Oops. It could be oops, that's correct. However, shimata. Um, could have oh, no. a second possible reading, which is this, this is too one. Close. It is to uh -huh. close. However, this is context based. Hi. Shimata could mean oops. Normally, there'll be a verb connected with shimata, like uh, shimatte shimata. Mm. <laughs> Normally, you'll you'll see like something over here in front of it. Um, but it's not always like you'll hear characters in anime go shimata all on its own to mean darn it, Alvin. It closed. <laughs> Close. It could be that the keys. Oh the no! Keys. Ah. <laughs> Why so is I get that pause in there? <laughs> hi, hi. hi. So here he's saying that we oretachi tori nukeru nukeru. So we, we 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 go across. Kind of. We go through. We, yes, we, through. we go through. That is a better way of translating that. Because to go across would be tsukiri. Right? Tsukiri. That is to cross something. Or wataru. Then, this to is like den, but yes. very sudden, like boom. Yep. Right after we go through contextually the gate, right? Right. To. What happens? Then, um, haigo de. Mata kachin. Okay, so he's saying this de here marks the location then. Hi. That on to the back to the back side of the speaker. Hi, behind us. Again, behind the speaker, 
once again the sound kching. And then he used to again, meaning then immediately. Kind of. The, this is a sound effect, right? Kachi. So kachi oh. takes to because um I see. It's a sound effect and it's being an adverb right here. So to be careful, to can be a sound effect, to, or it could be the particle to. It's normally very easy to tell which is which just by looking at what goes before it. If a verb goes before to, we know it's um, sentence to. If a sound effect goes before to, we know it's adverb to. And if a noun goes before to, we know it's and to. And if um, a phrase goes after to, um, normally with like, you know, phrase markers, then we know it's quotation to. Quotation to. Hi. So in general, okay, it's pretty easy to tell, but there is sometimes when it's more hard. Hi. So um we cross we crossed the road. We we passes through. Yeah, we went through the gate. Us, we went through the gate and behind us one more one more kaching and the doors shut. Perfect. Yep. Shut it. Shut it. It's shut. It's done. It's completed. Um and then this is the Ben to, right. to, to turn the corner. Good guess. Magari. It is Magari. Magari kuneru. So Magaru, just so you know, it's not to Ben. Magaru. For example, we saw Magori Kado not that long ago, I don't think. I think. Um, right. That is a corner that is bent. So Magaru by default takes ga. Um, we also saw Koshi. Koshiga magaru, the that's like the old man with their slouch backed. The it just the thing is bent. Um, so it's not to bent, it is to be bent. Um kuneru is windy. So magari kuneru is this kind of shape. It is bendy and windy. Mm. Something like that. So you can picture what kind of road. So rather than a road that just bends once. It's bending lots of the time. Okay. And this is a u verb. So kuneri. Um, do you know what futatabi means? Futatabi is one one more time. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Hitatsura. Right. Hitatsura is single mindedly. Single mind mindedly. Um, you don't normally see the kanji here for hitatsura. Uh, but I just saw it. And now you get to go read the sentence from the book. Hi. Um, Mizu, Mizu ga pota pota ochiru. Magari kuneta. Nagai toneru o. Hitatsura. Arui te. Iku to. Futatabi mon ga arawareta. Hi. So, so, what is the subject of the sentence? Do you know? The first subject here is Mizu. Ga. Mm, that's a good guess. It's actually not Mizu. Even though Ga's marking it, this Ga is actually part of this relative clause. Mizu ga pota pota ochiru. Normally, pota pota would mark with to. They're being kind of weird here with pota pota. Oh, okay. Um, Let's look at this. But this is games. the sound of the Mizu falling, which is falling um, the... in the tonneru. The tunnel. Um, okay, so all of this just describe the tunnel. The tunnel so is long so. and bendy. Right. And then the action on the tunnel is hitazira, which is what was hitazira again, Mani? Single mindedly. Single mindedly. So that's an adverb. 
itasura, and the verb then is aruite, iku. So to walk away from the speaker. Right. So therefore, given that this ver verb is to walk away from the speaker, the subject must be oretaji, right. as oretaji. indicated from the previous sentence. Yes, perfect. So in this case, iku is more like saying leaving our current location. Current locations. So it say that we walk further. We we keep walking. Right. Ite. Uh, but instead of say ite iru, he say ite iku. So like changing locations. Changing locations. Uh, single mindedly. Uh. Uh, even though it's it's an old particle, I t I I I feel like I want to say in English, go through the tunnel, like at towards yeah. the tunnel. Through is a good way to translate o a lot of through. times, like to go through the door with uh, nukeru and stuff. Right. Um, because o means that the tunnel is not the destination because they're already in the tunnel. Their right. destination actually is mon. Like that's so where they are aiming towards. They aruku. That would be a good on, one here. Hi, hi, hi. Right, the act of aruku, it's it's the action apply on the tunnel, tunnel. Right. The tunnel is nagai, and it is windy. magai kuneta, meaning is windy. And what else about the tunnel? Is it um dry? And then we have the entire clause that describes the tunnel as being mizuga hobota, pota pota ochiru. The the tunnel is. The so water, in the tunnel, what's happening with water? The water falls pochi pota pota. What kind of falling is pota pota, would you guess? I'm guessing like pota. one drop at a time. Yeah. A drop. Contextually, why do you think there's water dripping from the ceiling? Because they are now underneath the river. So, the, so. the kawa. The, yep. the kaga. And this the is kawa. a little tunnel. <laughs> yep. But, but this that. this relative clause money is simply right. say ochiru, right? So it say the water drop. Yep, the water is pop, falling. Pop. In a pat, 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 falling pop up. Okay, so you say water falling pop up. Yep. Uh, plop, we plop goes the water. we walk through the windy we walk through the windy long tunnel single With water mushroom. falling on in it. Hmm. Look at that. And then it say futatabi. One more time, the gate appeared to us. Right. So another gate appeared. Futatabi nonga awareta. Awareta. Another gate appeared. Yep. And remember, it's not a teleporting gate. It's just now we can see it because we walked more <laughs> closer to it. But this is interesting, Mani, because in my mind, when they say arawareta mm -hmm. appears. Immediately, I think appear to who? Appear <laughs> to us. Yes, appear to us. They but they omitted it, but it's it's simply unstated. But it, that's what it meant. Yes, oretachi is our uh, is is the is the um, the recipient of this action. Hi hi hi. Hi, and that is where we will stop for the day. Um, any questions?